Hello, my wonderful friends. Sally the Seeker here. I am so happy and excited to be back. I can't, I don't, I didn't realize how much I missed you until I started reading your comments. And y'all are so kind and gracious. And I truly do appreciate and love you all. I really do. And I did want to clarify, even though I was talking about the difficulties of what I go through with my job at work, it's worth every bit. I do want to make that clear. Sometimes I feel like I come off as complaining and that is not the intent. Sometimes it is frustrating how things are, um, even at a school. And usually I'm not as frustrated with the kids as I am. Maybe parents and maybe how ways things are handled. I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, because... I want to, most of these kids have autism, some have other issues, but I just want to make sure they have the best chance possible. And my thing is I push a little bit. I'm, I don't push real hard, but it's a, it's a loving push because some parents do everything for their kids. And I'm fully aware that there are some things I'm talking about as far as academically that these kids may never be able to to reach and to me it's not even about academics as much as just simple manners and I even had those same expectations when I was over at the middle school in gen ed classes it's like you know you might not be able to teach a math yeah, nobody can teach me math I'm very I have a huge deficit in math, let me tell you that. But I think it's more about kids are smart. There's so much more to them than what people understand. And sometimes they will milk parents, and I hate to see parents give in. And I don't mean not to be loving, but I'm telling you, simple things like manners, understanding right from wrong. There's certain things maybe they won't get, but... They get the gist of it, how to just, you know, I think y'all get what I'm talking about. I know I don't really need to be explained, but I still felt the need because as hard and frustrating as it is, I absolutely love those kids. It's kind of like, I treat them like my own kids. It's kind of like, um, I'll get mad at them, but if anybody from another class messes with them, oh, you better watch out because, you know, you're going to get a fight from me. So I did want to, to share you shared that with you and in fact we had another interesting day at school today too and the biggest thing is is that we have to keep our sense of humor and it's a terrible paying job but it's worth it so I wanted to get that out of the way I don't know why I just sometimes I don't want it to sound like I don't like the kids well some days I don't like them I always love them like I said like my own kids anyhow I've prattled on long enough so we are back and I'm that last video I put out just yesterday. Well, I don't know when this will come out. Maybe it'll come out. Mm, this is Monday, hopefully today, tomorrow, Tuesday. Anyhow, we'll see how technology and everything goes. But that last video still said limited, limited ads because of the content. And I, I really, I'm just trying to work my way through it and try to figure out what's wrong. And hopefully, I will not have any issues with this one, and I'll just continue on the best I can. Sorry to prattle on, but I just want to get a few things out of the way before we continue with doofus here, because it's we're getting close. I'm I'm working my way towards the we're getting close to the arrest and um, pe witnesses who saw him after he did the deed, and so we're getting we're getting to the good part as far as I'm concerned. But I also had asked if there was any other, whoops, any other trials that you would like me to comment or follow. Of course, I'm going to do Sarah Boone, but there's, she's got a whole, she has a few issues there going on, which I may or may not have mentioned in a video. But anyhow, I'll share that with you. But her trial ain't going to be, I don't think it's going to be till 2024, pretty sure. Chad Dorman is still kind of, that's not even, that's not going to be till July of 2024. 
So, but I think I had some interest. I have started the boy in box, boy in a box, because of the sentency coming up. I don't know if I'll be able to get everything up before that time of the sentencing, but I'll do my best. I'll just work through it um, the best I can. I think there was some interest in that. I know that somebody, I think somebody might have been interested in the Adelson trial. That thing, all of these are such good suggestions. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. That Adelson trial, another Florida thing. That is so knee deep and crap, but it's, I mean, it's getting good. They're going to be calling some more people. And rightfully so, the Delphi, somebody talked about the Delphi, that thing is getting bizarre too. See, not only do I try to put stuff out, I watch almost all of these, maybe not as much as I have Brooks. The Delphi, and then the um, the Take Care of Maya, somebody asked about a summary. Um, and any other ideas y'all have, please let me know, because all of the Maya case, oh my goodness, that is another deep, deep, deep sad case, but I am so happy to see, wow, that was, boy, I cried when I saw that verdict. The Delphi, wow, when are these poor young girls going to get justice? I know what happened, what, in like, was it 2017? I got to check my notes because I like to get my facts straight here, but those are a few that you all mentioned. I think they are all awesome. We'll talk more about it. I'm going to try to continue with um, the boy in the box one, because I'm kind of invested in it. And with the, with the sentencing coming up for Timothy Ferreter, and then Tracy will be getting her trial. Tracy, the wife, the mother, if y'all haven't followed it. But I know I've blathered on for almost seven minutes, but I kind of want to get those things out of the way. I also wanted to say, I know we're past Veterans Day, but in, to any of you all who serve or who have served thank you so much for your service i really appreciate it that's i truly truly appreciate it my mom and dad met in the navy they're no longer with me but they were veterans as well so i i really do appreciate your service okay now it's at seven minutes and 25 seconds we are gonna get on with this this one i don't think i had seen but this um this one is a witness for the state. Her name is Erin Cordes, and she was a parade spectator. And I like her, and I probably will be stopping and commenting a lot because he is so freaking irritating. Oh, my gosh, like we don't know already, right? But let's get on with it, and you'll see what I mean. Statement calls next witness. Thank you. The state calls Aaron Cordes. It's because I, I still see that little bit of shaking in there that happens sometimes. I'm just going to, I'll try to work with it and fix it the best I can. But thank you as you all bear with me. I appreciate it. So they just call the witness to the stand for the state. Right, good morning. If you would please make your way to the witness stand, which is on my right. It is up one riser. When you get there, please remain standing and raise your right hand. My clerk, Teresa, who's on my left, will swear you in. Do you solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give shows the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you back? I do. Thank you. Please be seated. First thing I will ask you to do is to state your first and last names for the record and spell each. Erin Cordes, first name E-R-I-N, last name Cordes, C-O-R-D-E-S. Thank you. Go ahead, your witness. Thank you. Good morning, Ms. Cordes. Good morning. Uh, Ma'am, I'd like to direct your attention to the date of November 21, 2021. Did you attend the Waukesha Christmas Parade that afternoon? Yes, I did. And who did you attend the parade with? Uh, my husband and my two children. Do you recall uh, from what location you watched the parade? Objection. Really missing. Overruled. She may oh answer. Gosh. Uh, we watched it from the corner of West and Wisconsin. Okay. And uh, do you understand that to be near the end of the parade route? Objection B. Um, overruled, she may answer. Uh, I believe it was close to the end. Um, the parade rounded the corner and continued on, and I don't know exactly where it ended. Okay. And uh, as you were uh, at that location watching the parade, did something unusual happen? Objection leading. 
Well, we're rolling. Um, yes, we we saw a car going pretty fast around the corner, um, and I remember my husband said that's not a not, that's not part of the parade. Grab the kids because our kids were in the middle of the road picking up candy at the time. Hmm. Okay. So, um, and the car just did not stop and kept going. Was there a police officer present at that corner? Uh, yes, there was. What did you see the police officer do? Um, well, the, the car, I thought it was coming at us for a minute, but it ended up swerving and going through the barricades, and the police officer um, fired three shots at the vehicle. You were standing right there at that intersection? Yes, I was. Ooh. So that was at the end of the parade when he drove through the barricades in Officer Skolton, whom I fondly call, fondly call Officer Redbeard. Took those three shots at him. Still remains one of my favorites, Officer Skolton. All right, here we go. What, what is noted? It's overruled. Uh, her answer may stand. Next question. Go ahead. What did you do after that, ma'am? Uh, well, we ran up to the house behind us as the car was coming at us, and um, I was just kind of keeping an eye out for the car at the time because I, it looked like it was out of control and I didn't know if it was going to go up to the house we were at or what direction it was going. So we just stayed by the house for a little bit, just kind of in shock Okay. after that happened. Okay. And at some point, did you decide to leave the area? Yes, we did. Where did you go? Uh, we went, we were parked a little bit further away because we had gotten to the parade late. So we were parked um, a few blocks out of the way uh, on Elizabeth Street Okay. In, at Aries Industries. Uh, do you have some familiarity with Aries Industries? Uh, yes, I do. Overruled. It's answer. relevant, fool. Do me a favor if there is an objection, wait until I rule on it before you answer. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. And uh, what's your familiarity with Aries Industries? Objection. Overruled. My husband is employed at Aries Industries. Do you happen to know the address of that location? Objection. Relevance. Overruled. You may answer. I don't offhand. No. Okay. Do you know what street it's on? Objection, relevance. Overruled. Okay, I've got his game already. So he doesn't know what the hell he's going to ask, probably. So he, of course, he's going to object to everything to be disruptive and waste time and all that good stuff. I mean, let's face it, he's pretty easy to read, guys, right? Oh, my God. All right, here we go. Not leading. Overruled. You may answer. Yes, Elizabeth Street. Okay. And, uh... Is it a, how were you able to um, strike that? You were walking back to Aries Industries, that's where you had parked, right? Correct. What was your route or your path that you took? We continued straight on, on West Avenue until we got to Elizabeth Street and then took a right on Elizabeth Street. Okay. Pretty much a straight shot? Yes. Just a couple blocks? Yes. Down West Avenue and then you hang a right on Elizabeth? Correct. Okay. As you were doing that, making your way back to your car, uh, did you encounter somebody out on foot? Yes, we did. Tell us about that, please. Mm -hmm. Objection, lead. Mm -hmm. Overruled. You may answer. We had just rounded the corner onto Elizabeth Street, and um, Daryl Brooks, we, ran into, we encountered Daryl Brooks. He came out of the shadows between a couple houses. And okay. Oh my God, I love you, Erin. She looked at him and called him Daryl Brooks. I love it, I love it, I love it. Keep up the good work, Erin. That's gonna really get under his skin. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. Approached us. Okay, now you refer to this person by name. Did hmm. you know Mr. Brooks prior to this encounter? No. Okay, never met him before. Correct. And you yeah. said he, hold on, I'm sorry. Oh my God. Um, the objection came after her answer. Uh, her answer will stand. Look at his uh, old angry question. mug. You said yeah. he kind of came out of the, did you say the bushes? <laughs> what did you say? I like that look. Oh, overall, she rephrased. He may answer. She may answer. I'm sorry. It appeared he came be from between two houses. So I, I don't know exactly where he was. Okay. And did you notice his appearance when he approached you? Objection. Overall. Yes, I did. What did Read you notice? Your mob. 
Um, it was, I just remember it was a very windy, cold night, and he was dressed pretty inappropriately for the night. He had a, I noticed he was visibly shivering. He had a red short sleeve t-shirt on and was not wearing shoes. Do you see the same person present in this courtroom here today? Yes, I do. Your Honor, I'm going to ask that Mr. Brooks be instructed to remove his mask and look at the witness so she can properly identify him, please. Mr. Brooks, please uh, unmask and look at the witness. Look at him. Oh, he's so rude. Sir, would you please unmask and look at the witness? Thank you. No, you're not. You're such a middle schooler. Sure, you heard me. Yeah. Rude. Thank you. Oh, he's so angry. Ooh, he's probably still simmering because Aaron called him by his name. Yes, I'm going to stop. And if this is your first time here, just get used to me stopping and talking because this is a reaction commentary one. And I just want to point that out because some people get very irritated when I talk. But this is what I do. But there are other channels where you can go to where you can go to Court TV, Law and Crime, and you can watch the whole trial without me blathering on. Just so you know. And I am not a psychiatrist, psychologist, a lawyer, but I am somebody who loves this stuff and researches, and I'm just a person with limited technology and talent. But, hey, we're here for the fun, right? But, yeah, he's mad because <laughs> she referred to him by his name, and he's got nothing. Okay, here we go. When you encountered on the street that you're describing for us, ma'am? Yes, it is. Did Mr. Brooks speak to you in any way? Objection. I do not consent to being called that name. And yeah, we don't care. Um, you may answer. I like her look. Yes, he did. What did he say? Objection. We overruled. Rude. Um, he asked if um, either of us had a phone that he could use. Okay. And and we said we we hesitated because I went too. It was it was strange. It was a strange encounter mm -hmm. and. Um, after what we just witnessed at the parade, where I think we were both pretty much on edge at that point. So I'm sorry to interrupt you. When you're referring to we, who are you referring to? Oh, sorry, my husband and I. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So he asked for the phone. Correct. You kind of pause. Yep. And then what'd you do? And then overruled. Go ahead. You may answer. I love that look. His next words were, I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to use your phone. And that's when I gave him my phone. Okay. Did, um, did he use your phone? Did you see him? Manipulate your phone in some fashion. Objection. What do you mean by manipulate? <laughs> what do you mean by manipulate? It's another word for use. But you shouldn't be asking questions right now, Darrell. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. Can you imagine, though, them after the, the, the trauma of the parade and then Darrell coming out of the bushes or the trees, looking all crazy with no shoes on and a red t-shirt. And then them later watching the news and going, oh my gosh. We had every reason to be freaked, a little freaked by this weirdo. That's so funny. And of course, again, kindness. They let him use their phone. Wow. This is good, folks. Um, overruled, she may answer. I'm sorry, what was the question? Did you <laughs> see him use your phone in some way? Yes, I did. What did you see him do? Objection, we... Overruled. You may answer. Um, he called his mom. Mommy, could mommy, mommy. Could you hear mommy. what he was saying on his end? Mama Brooks. Yes, I could hear what he was saying. Could you hear the uh, responses being provided by the person on the other end of the phone? Objection. Speculative. Oh, um, shut overruled. up. Overruled. You may answer. No, I could not hear the other side of the conversation. Okay. Tell us, to the best of your memory, what you remember Mr. Brooks was saying into the phone. Objection. I don't consent to being called mm. that name. Uh, Go ahead and answer, please. please. Nah, blah, blah, blah. We don't care. He just kept asking his mom to call him an Uber. And I, he wasn't responding to anything that she was asking. He just kept repeating, call me an Uber. I need an Uber now. That sounds about right. Did he sound Demanding. urgent in his voice? Objection. Please. Sustained us to the form of the question. How did his voice sound? There was a sense of urgency that he needed an Uber, and he needed it now. <laughs> and he was um, specifically referring to the person he was speaking to by what name? Mom. Objection. Reading. Overruled. Uh, she answer. Her answer will stand. 
at some point, uh, did Mr. Brooks turn his attention to you and ask a question to you as he was still on the phone? Objection. I don't consent to being called in there. Oh, hush. Go ahead and answer. He asked for the address where, he, where we were located at the time. What did you tell him? I did not know the address, so I asked my husband what the address was, and he provided the answer. Okay. And again, you're very close to your husband's workplace. Uh, we were actually in the parking lot at that time. Okay. I'm going to, uh, well, let me ask you this. At, at some point, did he terminate his phone call? Objection, Lee. I thought he was going to ask what terminate means. Yes, he did. And what happened then? Um, he said that he was freezing and he asked if I knew of any place that he could go warm up. So my husband directed him towards the lobby of Aries. Okay. Uh, did he return your phone? His, I'm sorry. Did he return your phone to you? Yes, he did. Okay. And uh, did you see... If he left your presence, where did he go? Objection. Please. Overruled. He went up to the lobby. You saw that? Yes. Okay. Where did you go? We we were pretty on edge at that point, so we put our kids in the car as quickly as possible and drove down the road. Okay. I'm going to show you uh, some uh, exhibits on the screen in front of you, okay? Um, first... Is 171, I'm sorry. Do you see a photograph on the screen in front of you, ma'am? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you recognize anybody or any place in that photograph? Objection, Lee. Overruled. Hmm. I recognize the Aries building in the background and Daryl Brooks on the porch. Okay. Ooh. She says uh, it again. 171's previously been admitted, Your Honor. I'm going to uh, request permission to publish again. Permission yes. granted. Objection. All right. It's noted. It's overruled. It's already been received. Ms. Cordes, that's a touch screen in front of you. <laughs> Would you just please uh, point there he out is. Uh, Aries Industries <sighs> and specifically, if you can, the area where you saw Mr. Uh, Brooks head for the lobby of the building? Objection, I don't consent. Uh, but it's you. Um, Jerry will disregard that last comment That's right. by disregard. defendant. So do you want me to circle? Yeah, circle or X or dot, it's, whatever. It's way in the other corner over here, so it's... Imagine okay. seeing him tree. seriously okay. crawling out so from the bushes. the area where you first encountered Mr. Brooks, is that actually shown in too. this photograph? Objection, I don't to be uh, We don't care. We're Jerry calling you Brooks, it. Brooks, Brooks. We don't care if you consent. Uh, you're Daryl. Well, it's more over here. Rude, rude, rude. Park. There's a second parking lot oh. over there. Okay. Oh, and then uh, the person in the photograph. Can you circle the person, please? Is that what Mr. Brooks looks like? Looked like that <laughs> evening when you spoke to him. Mm. Nobody cares. Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna put up Exhibit One. I'm sorry, Exhibit Seventy Six. And we're going to play it for you first uh, before it gets shown to the jury, okay? So at, uh, let me know when it's up, please. Um, okay, thank you. For the record, this is a clip that's 53 seconds long. I'm just going to play maybe the first uh, 10 seconds or so and see if she recognizes You know, he's not really reading anything in those papers. All right, we've uh, played about the first 10 seconds of that clip. Do you recognize the um, what is shown in this video, ma'am? Yes, I do. What do you recognize it to be? It's the lobby of Aries Industries. Okay. And uh, is this the door that you directed Mr. Brooks to? Objection. I don't consent to being called that name. You may answer, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Do you believe this... Uh, video is a true and accurate depiction of the events of November 21 of 21. Yes, I do. Uh, move to your 76 and permission to publish, Your Honor. Shut up. Good I believe gosh. there was an objection. It's noted. It's overruled. Uh, exhibit 76 is received and permission to publish is granted. The witness wasn't there at the, in this video. How could it be relevant? Um, your 
your objections noted, sir. And you shouldn't be talking. In its entirety, Your Honor. Can't testify. As soon as the jury's got it. They got it. Okay, thank you. Wait. Good gosh. Look at him lurking and looming around. Good okay, gosh. we should pause it at the 30, 39 second or 40 second mark. I said we'll play the whole thing, but uh, did you see a person approach the doors to the building during the video? Yes, I did. I saw Daryl Brooks approach the door. <laughs> she and says that again. consistent with what you saw that night uh, as you She's watched awesome. Mr. Brooks? Yes. Objection. I don't listen to me go out that night. And... Now that you look at the, <laughs> the door, do you see the address for the building on the door? Yes, I do. And what is the address, please? Uh, 550. Does that sound right? Yes. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. I don't have any other questions. Here we go. All right. Uh, Mr. Brooks may have questions for you. Let me cross, sir. I don't consent to being caught there, Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Just ask your questions and move on with it. Put your papers cross, down. please. To it. He's such an ass. You just stated that before the interaction with the person that you had, you didn't know him. That'd be fair to say? Yes, that's fair to say. So how could you refer to him by name if you didn't know him? I have seen the news since then and your the video of you being arrested and you had since been identified on TV. So that's how you came to the, the yeah, name? That's right. That's correct. So it would be fair to say that you got that off of news reports? That's correct. Everyone knows who you are, fool. God, he's so annoying. said the individual we spoke with seemed out of place and disoriented like he didn't know where he was. Would that be fair yeah, to say? That's correct. And, with, and how would you characterize disoriented? Oh, he doesn't know what it means, does he? Bless his heart. You just seemed very, very nervous and that you didn't know where you were. Who's you? You had specifically said, I don't know where I am. Who's you? <laughs> you. Or where am I, specifically? He's being so rude. He's not even looking at her. Usually, why is he has that face? I think he knows so he's disoriented with, with confusion. From your perspective, be exactly what? Oh my god! Disoriented as you did not know where you were. You got to use basic words for me, Aaron. Sorry. He is in his element, just making everybody wait for him. And yep. you made reference mm, to gosh. Uh, your phone being used, right? Mm. That's correct. And you also made reference to not being able to hear the, uh, <clears throat> the person on the other line. That's correct. But you also made reference to not... person who used your phone not being able or not answer answering answering what was being asked to them that'd be fair to say that's a compound yes. question vague and it's clear yeah. so the form of the question so like a disoriented you couldn't hear question what was being said on the other end of the line how can you 
how can you say that there was questions being asked? Well, there was clearly a conversation going on, and you just kept repeating, just call me an Uber, that you were very frustrated, and whoever was asking questions of you didn't just to call you an Uber. It's just my interpretation of that. I could not hear the other end of the phone conversation. So it would be fair to say you don't know what was being discussed? Besides call me an Uber, yes, that's correct. <laughs> and none of this helps your case, so move on, Daryl. My God. Do you recall the description you gave in your written statement? Uh, yes, I believe so. You believe so? Yes, I recall oh the description I gave. Oh, you gonna be and trying what to? Was that? The description I gave was an African American male, about 160 pounds, 5'8", wearing a red t-shirt, no shoes. Looking for his gotcha moment. Come on, you can find it, I'm sure. <laughs> to this individual coming from between houses, you said? That's correct. I don't think you were paying attention to her testimony, were you? Is that what you actually saw? Yes, that's what I saw. I saw you approach us at the very start of the block from between two houses. Any reason why that's not in your written statement? I don't, I bet you she didn't write it. You know how I don't recall. I didn't actually write it. Mm, there, there was you go. An, a detective at our house that was writing the statement for it. Maybe that part got missed. I'm not sure. He relies too much on those police reports. Was it this statement? How the hell is she supposed to see that? I don't that? have it in front of me to see it. Uh, permission to show the witness the written statement? She didn't write it, though, she well, said. I don't know that it's necessary, Your Honor. It ha she hasn't expressed any inability to recall. Uh, she did. She just said she don't know why it, something was not in her written statement. That's... <laughs> what she said is she doesn't know why the detective didn't write it in there. The detective is the one who wrote it, Your Honor. So, mm -hmm. so were you... That's sustained. 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 Let it go. Mr. Brooks, let me answer. Sustained is to the form of the question. So, the officer was writing what you told him, or did you actually write it yourself? She I did not actually write it myself. She didn't. The detective was writing it as we were speaking, my husband and I. I love her. She sticks to her guns. She's just like, that's not the word I meant. She's emphatic you about it. that officer's name? No, I do not. She's fierce. He doesn't break her at all. She's breaking him. I love it. Love this witness, Aaron. Uh -huh. You made reference, when you were at the parade, you made reference to seeing a car swerve or you said the car was swerving toward you? It looked like a car that was out of control. I didn't know which direction it was headed. And you said you saw it. You drove toward the barricade? Correct, I saw it drive through the barricade. When you say through the barricade, would uh, describe that. Through it. The car sped up and drove straight through the barricade and continued it, on West Avenue. I feel your frustration, sister. Do you 
recall if this barricade was standing up or laying down. I do not. I do not recall that. I was in the middle of the road to prevent traffic from coming through, so I don't know if it was. I would assume it was standing up. Didn't stop you though, did it? And it, it, was it at that same moment that um, you saw officer fire shots? That's correct. Do you recall how many shots? Three shots. She's a good witness. Did you see if the shots hit the vehicle? The car, as you say? No, I did not. I was running up towards the house at the sure. time with what my imagine. son in my arms, and I was just trying to keep an eye on the vehicle, so I did not see where the shots actually went. Did you see a vehicle hit anyone? No, I did not. Never mind, you already run over all those people before you went through that barricade, though. Oh, gosh. Yeah, just let him read through the whole report while everybody waits. Could you see into the vehicle when you saw it? No, I could not. Give it up, you got nothing. said the vehicle went down West Street? West Avenue, correct. Did you see where it went from there? Or did it just go straight down West Avenue? Uh, it, it continued on West Avenue. I, I was, at one point, um, the house was blocking the road, so I, could, I couldn't see where the vehicle continued on. Anything else stick out to you about that day? Isn't that enough? For Lord, for God's sake. I I, I don't I don't know. Just, I mean, besides <laughs> besides seeing the vehicle and and the police firing shots and then running into you afterwards. I mean, yeah, to that you. Was strange enough. Yeah, agreed. Do you recall uh, what day you gave the? Um, Statement. Was Not it the exactly. Same night, or was it a few days after, or a week, or? It might have been up to a week later. I don't know the exact date. Recall why it took so long? God. I I don't know. I received a phone call from a detective probably <sighs> almost a week later, and I would assume that they had a lot of other other people to attend to, other witnesses to get to. It was not a priority at the time. I was not. So it'd be fair to say by that time you had saw news reports and had learned information about what happened. Correct. Before today, had you seen any of the uh, video footage or, or uh, photos that, that you saw today? Had, had you seen any of those before today? Are you talking about the video of you being arrested? Or I guess I don't understand the question. 
the the video that the video footage that you saw today had you seen that before today i did see the aries industries clip before yes what about the other uh the other exhibit that was shown i recognized that from a ring video i had i had seen from the arrest Yeah, he has no problem taking his sweet time. Doesn't bother him a bit. He loves this control. So it'd be fair to say a lot of what you learned came from news reports. After the incident, yes. Look at this, guys. I, had, I paused for a moment. Look at attorney, our favorite guy, Zach Wichaw. Look at that expression he's giving Darrell. Can you imagine, I know I've said this before, but how these attorneys and the jury, the judge, everyone, the, the poor families of the victims had to deal with that idiot, evil, evil, idiotic person, day after day, and all his shenanigans, I'd be losing my mind. I'm losing my mind, and I'm just sitting here at home. Anyhow, we shall proceed. Daryl's just taking his sweet time, because that's all he's got. Unbelievable. Did you make any claim in this matter? Oh, he's getting towards the end now. He's going to start asking. Claim. What kind of a claim? Have you filed any claim? No. Have you filed a complaint? I, not, no. I, I just um, gave a witness statement to the detectives. I did not file a complaint specifically. About what time did you learn that you could possibly testify in this matter? Objection relevance overruled. She may answer. It really doesn't have anything um, to do with anything. When I received a subpoena in the mail from the DA's office. Oh boy, here he goes. Do you recall whose name was on that subpoena? Ooh, he's gonna get excited. Sue Upper. Ooh, he wants her to point him out. In court today. Point her out. Yes, I do. Point her out for the jury and for the record. I'll stipulate, Your Honor. Thank you. Record will reflect, though. Oh my God, hilarious. See, you know how he gets excited when he can have the witness point out, especially Sue Opper. But she went ahead and took care of that and kind of took away, took out the steam of his excitement. <laughs> I love it. Yep. Now oh, there was your moment. He's gonna to try to try to get some more information on Sue Opper just because he detests her. Stipulation on the witness identifying Attorney yeah. Opper. Do you call? Do you recall around uh, what time you received that uh, <laughs> subpoena? I don't recall exactly. No. What time? At QVC, we're letting the holidays shine bright. Shop best of fashion at QVC.com. Hello? Surprising TV shows are great. <laughs> Surprise. I 
after you received the subpoena, did you subpoena? Did you follow up with the district attorney's office at that point? Uh, they contacted me. Attorney Opper did? <laughs> Some, someone, it was oh a, God, someone so from the witness. Such an idiot. I don't know what her exact title is. So it's someone from the DA's office. It's not specifically Sue Opper. Like a witness advocate type of... I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Was it like a witness <laughs> advocate? I don't know what her exact title is. Do you recall her, her name? Yeah, her, her, yes, her name is Carrie. Nothing to do with helping you. Nothing again. After you learned of the additional information, did you uh, read any police reports or a complaint? No. No. We're getting close to the end again. Living, breathing entity, the state of Wisconsin. It's got to be coming up at some point. You know that it's not a living, breathing person. It's an entity. Oh my gosh. I love how she never backed down from him. Oh my gosh, guys. Ridiculous. Are you aware of who the plaintiff may be in this matter? Objection, irrelevant. It's the same. Just ask your question. Don't look down at your papers. You know what you're going to ask. Don't pretend like you're looking at something. Let's get on with it. Ever been notified who the plaintiff is in this matter? Objection. Grounds. Relevant. Sustained. Grounds for the sustain, right? Shut Shut up. Up. She already said irrelevant. Do you even know if there's a plaintiff in this matter? Look at that. Yes, there is. And who's the plaintiff? I believe it's the state of Wisconsin. Would that constitute a, a, a breathing human being or an entity? Objection, argumentative, irrelevant. Grounds. Look at Zach, wants to laugh. Are you aware that only a human being can bring a complaint or be a plaintiff? Shut up. I remember I, uh, the the video I just put out. I remember someone in the comments, and I I totally agree. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting who you are at this moment. But saying like it would be cool if they had the camera more on the district attorney's than his mug there, because you know how many times they are probably laughing. I mean, I think all of us have caught them laughing, but I'd love to just see more of their expressions. That would have been really cool to see. So I agree with you, whomever said that. Objection, misstatement of the law. You got nothing. Hurry up. First in the writing. Dear you ever had any interaction with the state of Wisconsin? Objection. Irrelevant. Grounds. Sustained. Grounds for Surrender 90611. Yeah. Please. It's time to move on. Move on, please. For the love of everything that's holy, please move on. Have you ever contacted the state of Wisconsin mm -hmm. in this matter? Objection. Grounds. Irrelevant. Sustained. Grounds for the sustain. Your 90611 move on or I'll declare the cross-examination ended. Don't shake your head. Of course you would.
further questions. The disrespect. Nothing further. Thank you, Your Honor. All right, thank you, ma'am. You may step down. This will also be a very good opportunity to take a mid-morning break. Oh. We'll rise for the jury, please. Oh, things are so unfair. Ugh. I know, guys. I piped in a lot, but hey, it's been a little while, and he still gets me so triggered. And some of you, well, most of you, or maybe some of you, hopefully most of you say, I'm saying what you're thinking, so I do apologize if I interrupted too much. My intent isn't to in interrupt, it is to comment, but sometimes I can't help myself because he's such an annoying human being, as we know. But anyhow, hope you enjoyed it. I really love this witness. She really, I love that she said his name. She didn't back down. And that's all right. He was just, you know, frittering. Fritter Pitten with his papers. I think that's a southern term we use it. Fritter Pitten his papers. But I really do appreciate you all. Keep your fingers crossed that when I try to get this video through to post that they're not going to limit my ads. I don't know what's going on, but it's frustrating me because I want to keep posting and hopefully it will get through okay. But as always, thank you all so much for watching, commenting, subscribing. You all are are truly awesome. I've, I'm so impressed by what a, a group of intellectual, funny people we have here in our family. So be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. I love you, love you, love you. Thank you so much. I will see you the next time.